What are my exact steps to creating unique stickers that will not get fagged? And why do I make subtle changes? Well, in this video, I wanna go through the whole process with you step by step. It's not gonna be a long video, it's gonna be straight to the point, but it's gonna be a really, really cool video. And if you stay till the end, or at some point in this video, I wanna say, there is going to be, well, I'm going to be announcing a super cool competition where you can win a ridiculous prize. So definitely stay tuned for that. At some point in this video, I'm not gonna say where, but definitely stay tuned for that. Right, so before I get into it, please don't forget to smash that like button. It does wonders for the YouTube algorithm. It really, really helps me. It helps me get more views and I really appreciate it. And as well, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that you know when I bring out new videos. And let's get right into this video. Thinking up an idea, this is always going to be difficult. And for me, in order to get into the groove, I'll stick on some movie soundtracks, you know, maybe some headphones, sit there in complete silence, get a pen and start writing down ideas. This can be 10 minutes, this can be an hour, but the idea is I'll come out with a whole bunch of different ideas that I could potentially put on a t-shirt, on a sticker, on a hoodie, on whatever. For me, it's just a great way to completely clear my mind, not think of anything else but the work and the, and the job at hand. And once I've done this, once I've cleared my mind and done this whole weird meditation thing, because let's face it, it's a bit weird. But so once I've done all of that, I'll go onto the computer, I'll go onto the internet and I'll see if the designs that I've come up with or just maybe the slogans or the niches or the themes or whatever I've come up with, I'll see if it's been taken already. And if it has been taken, I'll see how different my idea is to theirs and potentially if mine can still work. If the whole idea is I don't want to copy anyone, but if it's kind of like the same but completely different, then that's absolutely fine. Step two, finding relevant artwork that sticks but doesn't just stick. Artwork that makes someone stop and think, yes, I want that one. That is the trick here. Often, this type of incredible art is actually drawn, but that's really time consuming and you might not have the capabilities to actually be able to go out and draw these really cool, unique, graphic-y designs. So for us, we're going to use a website called Placeit. Placeit is brilliant. They've got a whole section on mock-ups so you can upload your design back to place it and put it on a person, on a computer, on a mug, on a phone case, whatever. And they've also got a whole design section. The design section is what we're going to be using today. I'm actually going to be showing you my process of creating a design in place it and what I will then do with it. It's also got a whole bunch of other things like logo creation. It even has a bit of video creation stuff. It's really, really powerful tool. But anyways, for now, we're going to focus on design creation. And then a bit later on in the video, we're gonna look at the mock-up section. I'd just like to add, I'm also trying out a really cool tool called Vexels. I'm still getting to grip with it but if you're interested and you want to just take the plunge with it then the link is going to be in the description but the reason I'm trying it out is because I like to try out different tools and then try and give you different options or alternatives in case you don't want to use place it you could try vexels like I said it's a really really cool tool it's super powerful and as soon as I fully understand I'm gonna make videos like this where I, I show you my creation process or I show you a mock-up process but I'm also going to be using the tool Vexels, and then eventually I'm gonna do a Vexels versus Place It video. But anyways, let's get right back to Place It and continue on with this video. This idea doesn't necessarily have a specific niche, it's just gonna be a cute sticker, and I'm gonna go with a unicorn sticker because, you know, people like unicorns. And unicorn stickers is just such an easy thing to stick on your bottle or your, your laptop or your desk or whatever. So we're gonna pick a unicorn sticker and place it make this really easy because they have so many unicorns that you can just choose from. The only thing we wanna do is just kind of change things up a bit in place it and you'll see what I'm doing here. It's really epic that you can change all of this stuff within the place it tool. Literally just using our website, you can change the colors, you can change the text, you can change so you can change the actual graphic, right? It's just, it's very, very cool. But I like to add a step and this is where step three comes in. I'll download the image as a transparent background, a PNG file really, and what I'll do is I'll then put it into Photoshop and do a bit more manipulations to it. If you don't have Photoshop, you don't have to use Photoshop, you can use a free platform like Photoshop called GIMP. The reason I do this is because I really like to make things just a tiny bit more unique, because obviously with Placeit you, you can make it 
pretty unique, it's pretty good, but I like to go that step further so that I know literally no one on Redbubble, Teespring, Amazon, anywhere is going to have the exact same design as me. Okay, so once I've uploaded it into Photoshop, or put it into Photoshop, I should say, I wanna add some text, I'm gonna change the colors, I'm gonna do a bit of manipulation. So the text I'm gonna add is going to be Chrismacorn. And uh, if you're thinking, what the hell does that mean? Well, you'll be right in thinking that. Christmas corn is just a play on words for Christmas and unicorn because, you know, Christmas is coming up. So, like, it's probably really stupid, but I think it'll be cute. I'll give it a Christmas theme with the Christmas colors and Christmas hat and, and all that kind of stuff. And, like I said, Christmas corn. Very, very simple design and it will hopefully be good for Christmas. Who knows? The point is, this design is totally unique to me. Now, I know you saw me create that design really fast, time-lapse, whilst I was talking, but what I've decided to do, and I've never done this before, so it might completely fail, but what I've decided to do is to create a side-along video that goes with this video, and if you're watching this just as it comes out, that video will be live in like 20, 30 minutes, but basically that video is going to be the making of this video. So in that video, I'm going to go through the Photoshop program and fully explain in detail what I'm doing, what buttons I'm clicking and how I'm using Photoshop. And that way you can see how easy it is to use Photoshop to manipulate place designs. So I'll tell you if I'm using, you know, the marquee tool or the layers or the this or the that or the rubber or the, the paintbrush. And I'll actually give you a tutorial on how to use it just like I made this unicorn. So if you haven't yet seen that, the link will be here, the link will be in the description. Definitely go and check that out after watching this video so you can get an idea of how to use Photoshop to create t-shirt designs, sticker designs, any kind of design. Step four, let's now go into place it again into the mock-up section and upload our sticker onto various things like travel mugs or phone cases, or whatever we want really. And then we can kind of get an idea of what it will look like on the product. And once we have that, we can download that mock-up file and we can use it for our social media campaigns, Instagram, Instagram stories, Facebook, Pinterest even. We just wanna put this image everywhere. Those are the four steps that I use to create a sticker using Placeit and using Photoshop. If you don't know how to use Photoshop, you've got GIMP, you can use Canva. And if you don't have access to Placeit, I highly recommend getting access to Placeit. I really, really rate it highly. I think it's a brilliant tool and I use it on a daily basis now. So definitely, definitely go and check that out. In the link in the description, there is a 15% off discount that you can, you can get access to. It's really, really cool. But as well as that, I wanna tell you about a wicked competition that's happening. So, because you stayed until the end, I want to announce to you this amazing, amazing kind of collaboration I'm doing with Placeit. I spoke to Placeit and they have offered a, well, one free lifetime account for their tool, Placeit. And they have offered this onto my channel. I just think it's so, so cool. I'm really, really excited to create this competition. One of you will be able to win, like I said, a completely free lifetime subscription to place it. So that is gonna be amazing. And as well as that, they have 20 runner up prizes, which will be 20% off the normal subscription fee, which is also pretty cool because it's a bit cheaper than normal. But the most important thing is the free one, which is just ridiculous. And I'm so grateful that they've decided that to do it on my channel. Just, it's really, really cool. So if you're interested in that, then definitely, definitely subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going to be announcing how you can enter, how you can win, and, and everything involved in an upcoming video. So stay tuned, because in that upcoming video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can win. So make sure you have bell notifications turned on and that you're subscribed so you know when I bring out that exact video. Thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.